See this photography setup right here? It's a piece of crap. It only cost me 400 bucks, but on tonight's video, I'm gonna show you how to capture beautiful night sky photography with crappy camera gear to inspire you to get out there and photograph the night sky with a camera gear you already own. Let's get right into it and roll that intro. Rightio, this is my not so good location because that is what tonight is all about. Not a good location, not good camera gear, and not a good camera. Focusing on the composition and capturing images with a crappy camera. For the composition, I want to photograph the bottom one third of the waterfall, leaving the top two thirds to photograph the beautiful night sky. Probably the one and only special thing about this location, she's dark as dog's gut, she's gonna make absolutely perfect night sky photography. Let's get set up and photograph with a crappy camera. All set up, and she's barely standing there. Guys, this is a crappy setup, but I wanna to prove to you that you can photograph the night sky with a gear that you already own. This is a Neuer light stand, cost me about 40 bucks, brand new, a little tiny Neuer ball head, which is worth about 30 bucks. I had to put the X-T3 L bracket to connect the Arca Swiss onto that. So that's completely free, you've already got that at home, and the Canon G5X, but the Mark II, the Mark 1s, you probably can't even buy these bad boys. Entire setup, less than 400 bucks. That's how cheap it is, and we're going to get results that are worthy of a social media like thumbs up. So that's what we're aiming for today. Now I want to simplify the photography and break it down into the easiest way for night square photography. The two elements, the foreground, which is a little bit harder, so we'll get into that a little bit later. But first of all, I want to go through and photograph the night sky. When photographing the night sky, can you bloody believe it? Capturing the stars is actually the easy point. First of all, we want to go through and obviously turn our camera on. This is a one inch sensor, so we are going to suffer from noise from our ISO. So I want to start off with my ISO and go all the way up to 6,400. Now we've got our ISO locked in. This is pretty much what I do with my X-T1, my X-T3, and this camera. So I suggest that would be your starting point also. Next thing we want to go through and do is get our aperture. Now this is a great 1.8 aperture, so I'm going to lock it in to 1.8. Now our shutter speed. This is where we want to get a lovely thing called photo pills out, and I want to understand this is a 24 mil equivalent. So I want to go through now and basically go into photo pills go all the way down to spot stars, and I want to change it to 24 millimeters. And once we change 24, we're going to get 21 seconds for the 500 rule and 12.55 seconds for the NPF. So I want to reckon that 15 to 20 seconds. Now because 
This is a one inch sensor. I'm gonna crank out to the 20 seconds because I wanna capture as much information as I possibly can. So now we've got ISO 6400, we've got our aperture at maximum 1.8, and last of all, we just put it out, our shutter speed at 20 seconds. What I'm gonna go through now is capture 15 images in camera. This is what sets you apart from the amateur to the pro that you're going to become. You wanna take 15, I'm going to explain later why that is. When going through and seeing my composition, we've gone through the three critical aspects of night photography, the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Now there's two more fundamentals that are absolutely critical. One is to shoot in RAW if we can. RAW will give us more information post-production and that is vital when shooting night photography. The second one is, and probably the most critical aspect, focus. We need to make sure we're in focus to infinity. We're shooting at 1.8, a really small depth of field. Make sure we nail focus and on small cameras like this, it's extremely hard. I highly recommend to go out during the day and practice, 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 and practice will make bloody perfect. So now, with everything in camera, shooting in manual mode to get those three triangle exposure, infinity focus, and shooting in that beautiful, massive aspect of RAW. Now we can get those 15 images in camera, and the fun begins. Okay, 12 images done and dusted for the night sky. Now if there's one pro tip I can give you guys, it's make sure to put a two second timer on before taking every image. I'm photographing the most crappiest light stand possible. Where the spigot meets the ball head, it doesn't even align up properly, it moves around quite a bit. And secondly, it is windy out here tonight. So two second timer will get rid of those reverberations and make sure to get the best tack strike image possible. Now I want to go through and focus on the foreground. I'm going to do things a little bit differently with the foreground because we've got a one inch sensor. Normally I would go crank it up to 60, 90, 120 seconds, capturing those images, that's on an APS-C camera. So if you want to find out how to do that, make sure to drop below and subscribe because I'll take you through all things night photography on this channel, trying to help you get the best possible results you can. But now I'm going to drop my aperture down to F4. Two reasons, I want to get more in focus and also I want to let less light in because we're adding artificial light. Then I want to go to my ISO and I'm going to start off around 800. This may change depending on how much light is entering in. Then I'm going to drop my shutter speed all the way down to around one or two seconds. Once again, this will vary. The only thing that is constant during this will be F4 for my aperture. Then I want to refocus on the foreground. So I can just quickly light up the foreground with my head torch punch in focus on the foreground, and bloody Bob's your uncle, mate. So those are my go-to settings right now. Two seconds, F4, ISO 800, and I'm going to capture about 10, 15 images with artificial light, just making sure to move around and light different aspects of the foreground, and also the mid-ground, not to forget that. That will be sort of not as heavy with the light, but we're going to make sure to catch that in also. So now, I'm going to get those images and see how we go. actually gives me the puffs, works me out a little bit. I don't know about you, but I actually quite enjoy running around like a mad chook, lighting up the foreground, gives my daily boost of exercise and warms me up on a pretty fresh cold night out here in the valley in the mountains. So pretty bloody cool. But we're only 50% of the way through. We've got our foreground images, 13 images lit up, 12 images of the night sky that we have to blend together to reduce that noise. But I'm not gonna do that on this vlog. I'm gonna save it for my membership course for all my paid members We'll be learning how to blend those images together. We'll be linked in the description for that to learn everything night photography and photography related. But now I'm gonna leave it up to the bloody beautiful post-production to get a one resulting image to blend all those images together to get this image captured right here with a crappy setup from tonight. Enjoy.
So guys, there you have it. It's not gonna win a Logie Award for photography, whatever that award may be called. But what it is gonna win is a couple of likes over on Instagram because social media compresses the crap out of the images anyway. Probably 95% of the people that like that won't even recognize what camera it's taken with. They probably still think I'm taking with a Fujifilm X-T1 that I take all my night sky photography images with because they won't even know and they won't even care. It's amazing, when you learn how to do something and you get out and take those images, you might actually bloody surprise yourself. So get out there with the camera gear that you've already got and learn the craft. You might actually surprise yourself. That is the image for tonight. And guys, over on my membership course, the ones that are signed up, I will take you through A, B, and C, how to blend all those images together to get the resulting image that I got from tonight. So thank you for all those membership people that are keeping my dream alive. But guys, make sure to head over onto my Instagram and give it a like. And if you do get out there with a the camera gear that you've already got and take an image like tonight, make sure to tag me at Matthew Store of Photography on all the socials because I want to see what this vlog tonight has inspired you beautiful people to get out there and capture. But guys, that is me done for tonight. Make sure to subscribe and get out there. Keep bloody creating. Keep inspiring people like me, people like you. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.